Hi, I'm going to share with you this journal that I made. It's an artist journal. Um, it has a bunch of quotes and stuff in it that are kind of that kind of inspire me, art about art and creating and such. Um, the cover is a cover off of an old book that has some collage work. It has some collage in the background, and then it has some crackle paint. You can see the crackles on it, and then there's like this really cool texture that is um, cornstarch, and then this front cover has a hole cut in it, and then um, this card, this old card with the word artisan on it, and then a piece of an old pocket watch, some blingy jewelry. There's some fabric collage down here at the bottom. And this is a molded solder that I made a mold of an antique button and I filled it with solder and then just added some different paints to, to patina it. And then the pages, most of the pages are fabric, different fabrics, pieces of old quilts and that sort of thing. So we'll get into this flip through. All right, so the first page says you are free to follow your dreams. And it has a, a little bird made out of layers of bingo cards inked with distress inks. There's stamping in the background, some collage, some um, paint, some old lace on this side. These are, these do not come out. I mean, they're stationary, but um, there's a layered tags, and this says, Art washes away, w art washes from the soul the dust of everyday life. Um, Pablo Picasso. And then there is a little pocket here with an old button, a really grungy old button. I just love stuff like that that has like a story to tell all by itself. I mean, that's how I found it. I didn't add anything to it. Um, and then there's like some old antique laces and things. And this was made on a piece of an old quilt that I just tore into the rectangle. And then I did some painting on it and some staining. So the next pages. So this page here um, has an old bingo card some fabric collage with some old doilies and things, um, some dyed fabrics down here, some layered collage with paint, and some hand stitching with embroidery thread around the edge. I just love all the grunginess of that. This was some muslin fabric that I coffee dyed and then splattered with um, acrylic paints. This page says, the object isn't to make art, it's to be in that wonderful state in which make, state which makes art inevitable. Robert Henry. And this is a little postcard of a little girl. Some stitching, some stamping in the background. Some hand embroidery stitches around there and some old antique buttons. Next page. These are some, um, this is an old handkerchief, and this has some different pages. This has some stitching here. It's got kind of a leaf motif, and then I just rubbed over it with some acrylic paints some hand embroidery, and it says, Empty pockets never held anyone back. Only empty heads and empty hearts can do that. Norman Vincent Peale. There's some layers of antique laces. And this is a handkerchief that was, when, I, when it was wet, I ran some um, acrylic paint over it. And it says, Laugh, Create, Believe, Love, Inspire, and Dream. There's some stamping. This is the next page. 
I think this is my favorite page in any journal I have ever done. I just had a whole lot of fun with it, and it just kind of makes me feel inspired every time I look at it. So um, this was this page was featured on a couple of websites back when I made this book around 2010, 2011. Um, so this is um, a swallow that I digitized and embroidered with an embroidery machine and over a bunch of different layers of antique laces and um, some different layers of things. So that's what that looks like. It's got a bunch of layered up. It's got some collage and some um, uh, stamping and some stitching and things. And then this one, I love, this is the old uh, cover of an old bird watching book with these silhouettes of birds I just love. And I embroidered this and it says, paint the flying spirit of the bird rather than its feathers, Robert Henry. And so that just really inspires me. It always makes me think, you know, you should think outside the box. You don't have to just reproduce what you see, but reproduce what you feel. You know, that's kind of what that layout means to me. So here is a garden page, and this is a book page from an antique poem book by Edgar A. Guest, and he's probably my favorite poet. I just love his poems. They're kind of quirky and fun, and this is probably my favorite poem ever. It's called The Gentle Gardener, and it says, I'd like to leave but daffodils to mark my little way, to leave but tulips red and white behind me as I stray. I'd like to pass away from earth and feel I'd left behind, but roses and forget-me-nots for all who come to find. I'd like to sow the barren spots with all the flowers of earth, to leave a path where those who come should find but gentle mirth. And when at last I'm called upon to join the heavenly throng, I'd like to feel along the way I'd left no sign of wrong. And yet the cares are many, and the hours of toil are few. There is not time enough on earth for all I'd like to do. But having lived and having toiled, I'd like the world to find some little touch of beauty that my soul had left behind. And that just really encompasses the whole reason why I art. Um, and so I made this page on this other side to kind of go along with that flower poem, the garden and um, I use some antique buttons that are all have their own natural patina on them and uh, yeah, just some hand embroidery and things and then this is the last section I believe and this is um, some dry brushing of, of um, acrylic paint on some coffee dyed muslin this has some um, ice resin paper and an antique card and some fabric collage and then this is the last page and these are torn strips of fabric um, each set of this and it says you may not be a Picasso or Mozart but you don't have to be just create to create create to remind yourself you're still alive make stuff to inspire others to make something too. create to learn more about yourself Frederick Terrell and that's just a really good prompt for the rest of you watching this go make something <laughs> and then the back just has a couple more of my favorite quotes it says, the only difference between an artist and a lunatic is, perhaps, that the artist has the restraint or courtesy to conceal the intensity of his obsession from all except those similarly afflicted. O Osbert Sitwell. And you can't wait for inspiration. Sometimes you have to go after it with a club. Jack London. <laughs> and that's just some little fabric collage and such. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that little flip through of that journal and feel inspired to go create something on your own and thank you so much for watching hit that subscribe button if you would please and hit that like button and that notification bell so you know when i post another video thanks so much have a great day